yes, the iPad Pro or the iPad, what have you, can definitely compete in the console video game market. And especially this iPad Pro with the USB-C. Because with the USB-C, you can put that easily on a TV, hook it up through the HDMI, and you're good to go in terms of the screen. And, and Apple can even release controllers, Bluetooth controllers, that would be effective. And you can't complain about the lag because since the middle of last decade, I'm talking 2005, 2006, you had a you had good Bluetooth controllers in terms of the PS3 and the Xbox 360. That was the standard, that's the norm. And that's carried on into the eighth generation with the PS4, Xbox One. So it's no big deal to use Bluetooth controllers. It's become acceptable. So whatever lag that could may occur is really going to be accounted for. It's not going to affect gameplay. And hence, you won't have to worry about using on-screen controls. And since the middle of the last decade, you've had storefronts from the PlayStation and the Xbox where you can download games so you don't have to necessarily use the physical copy and that was done with iOS and Android as well so people are already used to that and considering that people upgrade iPads well at least they come up with new iPads every year too and it still has backwards compatibility with older games especially if they do the updates and all the apps that's going to be more up to date than a traditional console that you have for well that stays on the market for six years before the next one comes up the only difference was that short period of time between the 6th and 7th generation being the PS2 and Xbox going towards the 360 and PS3. That was unusually short. That was only about four years. And then they go on to that, you know, seventh generation. So it definitely can be a console home device. And plus the iPad Pro is smaller than any, you know, major current console in terms of the PS4 and the Xbox One. So it looked good in the entertainment, entertainment center right, right there. So it definitely can be used. I think the controllers, controllers will be the biggest issue. So you have to have games to be updated to use the controls properly. But Apple could definitely release a controller, a Bluetooth controller, and easily compete. And they could probably do digital downloads better than the Xbox One, PS4, Sony, and Microsoft because people are already used to it in that environment. So every time you upgrade your iPad, you can get, you know, enhanced graphics or what have you. And that's pretty much the same thing that's done a lot, that's been going on with PC because when you have that game you have installed, then people release, people, developers release patches to enhance certain things in that game as newer technologies come out and we haven't seen that done to a, to a large degree in terms of the traditional home console market I think it's something Apple should get into and I just add another layer of competition to even the home to the home console market so yeah Apple can compete in the home console space, but it's up to them if they want to design a controller and ask developers to get on board and maybe see about getting certain exclusives, where that means buying a game studio. But we'll see.
that has the horsepower to do it. The way people like to update these things is faster than home consoles. People use digital downloads. People used to getting the enhancements from games and developers used to updating it as new mobile operating systems come up and even take advantage of new processes, techniques, processors, hardware, etc.